My name is Zoe Zingler. I am a senior chemistry and environmental studies double major. I am from Elkhorn, Nebraska. So during my junior year, I was looking to get involved in research. I thought that meant the typical joining a professor's lab route. Um, so I spoke with an engineering professor in the environmental engineering department about research opportunities just generally on campus and she is familiar with Dr. Snow. They have a project together, so she directed me here. Um, I applied and went through the interview process, and luckily for me, it all worked out and has been a great fit. Um, I care a lot about the human impact side of what we do here at the lab, so it's been a good fit for me. Here at the Water Science Lab, I work as an undergraduate intern. Specifically, my role is to do LCMS and GCMS sample prep, which is just a way to test environmental samples for certain contaminants or compounds that are present in them once they're sampled and brought into the lab. So when clients take samples from their project, it may be a water sample, a soil sample, a plant sample, whatever type of environmental sample they're interested in having tested. They then send that sample to us here at the lab. Um, depending on the project and the type of analysis, it then gets directed to the right person. So if they're looking for liquid chromatography mass spectrometry or gas chromatography mass spectrometry, those samples then go to me and I go through a whole protocol depending on the type of sample or the sample matrix and I make the sample ready to go through a very complex instrument, though it might have just originally been water from a pond or soil from someone's backyard. I think the most interesting part of the experience has been getting to work on so many different projects at once that are all client-based, meaning the results are being sent out somewhere else. It could be UNL affiliated, or it could just be someone who wants their water tested from their backyard. So knowing that what I'm doing when I come into the lab is making a difference in someone's life or their water quality or their crop quality, whatever it may be, has been really important to me and been exciting to keep me working. So as an intern, I do a lot of the bench chemistry or the wet chemistry. So I spend many hours just on one project for these clients to get quick results in the grand scheme of things they are pretty quick. Um, so my work that might take a couple days, that's pretty intensive and time consuming, creates high quality results for people who might not have a chemistry background. So I like using my skills as a chemist to make these results able to be understood by someone who may not have this sort of science or chemistry background. Typically, the samples that I work on are water or soil samples, but the most unique sample that I've worked with since being here in the lab were honey samples. These were sent in from a client who was looking to have the honey samples tested for contaminants that are in the neonicotinoid class after a spill from an ethanol plant. So it was really interesting to work with such a different consistency of environmental sample. Um, and the sample smelled really good, which was also a little bit different than what we were used to here. So it was just a lot to learn. Um, that process also allowed me to sort of work with the instrument technician as we were going through the process, since it was so different for us that we were sort of figuring it out as we go while maintaining a high level of accuracy and precision. All of the samples for that project have been really important in maintaining high quality to get those back to the client, just because it is such a big deal for the client and the residents in that area to know what sort of contaminants are possibly in their environment. Um, so testing not only their water and soil, but also the honey that to see if their bees are also being impacted. So after I graduate in May, I will be moving to Davis, California to start my 
PhD in Agricultural and Environmental Chemistry at UC Davis. I'll be working with a PI who is primarily in engineering, but needs chemists on her team as well to work with the engineers to primarily develop sensors, but also to work on agricultural samples. For example, one of the projects that I'll be working on when I move is looking at crop diseases that are in tomato plants specifically. So as a chemist, I work on method development to first determine what diseases are even present in the tomatoes. And then I work with the engineers to figure out remediation and testing processes for a wider clientele. The most important thing that I've learned since working here at the lab is having really accurate and precise analytical chemistry practice just working on the bench. It's something that we're not always exposed to just in our regular chemistry labs that I have taken as a student. So being able to practice that and get feedback on my analytical work has been really important in making sure that I'm on the right track, that my next step is gonna be a good fit for me, but that also I'm interested in continuing my education. The internship program at the lab is a really good fit for any undergraduate that has any level of chemistry background to just get some exposure to what it's like to work in environmental testing and regulation. The lab staff does a great job of bringing any level up to speed with what you need to know here at the lab to be able to complete the protocols that we have and the SOPs that we have set out. So it's, it's a good fit for anyone who really wants to learn a little bit more about what it's like to work in environmental testing. The, the biggest piece of advice that I would give to chemistry students is to be okay with saying that you don't know something. It will definitely provide you with the biggest learning opportunity. And just being able to recognize that there's an area for you to grow will open the doors for you to so many new opportunities.